I'm standing here today with the CEO of ZM Trucks, Yul Stevries. So what exactly do we have behind us here? We have a class 5.6 work truck. That is our first model we're going to produce in the US out of five models that are coming in Fontana, California. Interesting. So what is powering it here? Batteries. Batteries. Okay. Tell me more about the batteries. How much power do they have? We are 370 kilowatts and we are peak torque is 390 newton meters. So okay. plenty of power for box trucks, work trucks. Range wise, we're looking at about 160 miles, depending on how much weight you put in the back. But it's a, it's a typical box truck. What class is it officially? Class five and six. Five and six. We registered it twice because in some states you have a lot more incentive as a class six, but in other states without incentives, the insurance premium is cheaper as a class five. Obviously. So you do both. What about for fleets who are looking into buying this and they're concerned about maintenance, repairs? Okay, all our, all our trucks are 100% online all the time. Every truck we do worldwide is connected on a certain platform where we monitor 1500 data points in real time. So fleet owners can see exactly where the truck is, their state of health, how the driver behaved. Everything that's visible in the truck is visible to the fleet owner. So we can be very predictive and preventive in our maintenance package. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying clean trucking news and videos, you can get more delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up for our free weekly newsletter using the link in the description below. Let's take a look around it. Let's sure. show me some of the most interesting. Well, the first thing that you see is that we have a high cap. And one of the things we did with the high cap is that your CD value is better than having a low cap with one of these spoilers. The other benefit is I'm six foot four. I can stand in this cap. And then we have an option for a day bed that folds back out of the back. We, we spend a lot of time and money on the cab. And the reason is this is an electric to start with. So flat floor, you have no diesel hump anymore of a converted diesel truck. No transmission tunnel. No transmission no, no. tunnel, it's flat. The cab doesn't tilt anymore because there's no need for it anymore. There's nothing underneath there. It's does, an electric truck. Does that make it a more stable ride? Absolutely. I'll bet. Very comfortable driver's seat. We moved the gear selector next to the seat. So as the seat goes, you can change as you're sitting in the seat, you don't have to reach anywhere. So you have that dial that That's you, the dial there. which is very common in a lot of conventional pickup trucks. Exactly. These days, right. And and we also put the regenerative braking there. So if you want to play with the regenerative braking, when you go downhill, you want very heavy regenerative braking. You have all the buttons right there. So big 12 inch screen for the for the infotainment, everything digital on the dashboard. What I really like to see is that you still have the conventional buttons there yes. for the HVAC controls and volume, right? People loved it. Yes. In, in Asia, we are buttonless, we're touchscreen. Okay. But in the West and in the Middle East, they said, I want buttons, especially in the winter when they have gloves on yeah. and it works. So in, we went back to buttons here. Definitely. In Asia, we're all touchscreen. All right, let's take a look at the chassis here. So chassis packaging is modular. This is Lego. So batteries are always in the center. That means that your insurance premium goes down because they figured out if you have your batteries outboard and you have a little accident, that's $50,000 in expense. In our case, you don't have that. So batteries in the center, always an E-axle, no drive shaft. So the motor is directly onto the axle itself. That means that wheelbase changes become super simple. So you cut the frame, just move it backwards and bolt up the frame and you're good to go. And there's only one battery option, correct for now? Today, is, uh, you can either have two batteries or one battery. Okay. But uh, we have some requests for three batteries. Because we'll, I see there's extra because space. Because there's room yep. for that, but we'll, we'll wait and see how it goes. No, fair enough. Power-wise, we have made everything modular in our whole product range. So we have a bi-directional 20 kilowatt AC charger on board. And we also have the chargers for that for customers to use. Most of our customers have enough dwell time. They can charge during the night on AC and their investment in electricity and in panels and sit is free because they already have it. But it's also bi-directional. So you're ready to go V to G, vehicle to grid. Then here you have what they call the power distribution module. And what we did there is we have dual EPTOs on every chassis. So if you want to upfit with an air conditioner, plug and play, 600 volt, you're good to go. Have you announced pricing yet? No. When can we expect that? To be honest, I'm sold out for the rest of the year. Oh, that's not a bad problem to have. And only in LA. Okay. It's wow. been crazy. I don't think we need to mention any pricing yet. The only thing I'll say is I'm exactly at the same price where my number one competitor is. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Be sure to leave any comments and questions in the comment section below.